So you guys have probably all heard about that idiot, David Dog. oh, I mean, uh, David Hogg, um, going to take our Second Amendment. Well, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The American people are not ever going to relinquish our right to carry weapons. And if you try to take them, we're going to blow your fucking brains out. Don't think that the military and that the police aren't going to side with the typical Republican and Libertarian and Anarcho-Capitalist who wants to keep his right to bear weapons. This is a thing that you freaking trash don't get. Your Antifa are just a bunch of suckers. They're a bunch of chicken neck little cowards that aren't going to be able to stand up in a fight against the most of America. Most of America doesn't buy into your bullshit. And I speak for myself, I don't buy into it, being a young person. I don't buy into any of this Marxist bullshit. We do not need to surrender our right to bear arms. If anything, we need teachers to be able to carry firearms. We need guns to not be school, to not be weapon free zones. We need teachers and responsible students to be armed. We need the police to not stand down. We need the government to actually do its job. Oh wait, the government never does its job. The only thing the government does is try to take our rights and liberties. But the American people will never surrender our firearms to the New World Order or to you stupid Marxists. You think we don't know what happens when you give up the guns to the government? How about instead of your 17 minute walkouts for a few young people who got killed over in Coward County Oh, I mean Howard County. How about we have a hundred million minute walkout for all the victims of communism? How about we have a hundred million minute walkout in school for all the victims of communist regimes who took the firearms first? So that America knows that we are never going to surrender our firearms to you dirty Marxists. No way in hell. You want them? Come and take them! The way we counter this is young people doing videos like this to tell them that we do not want this Marxist agenda in our country. We like America just the way it is. We want it to stay the way it is. We want to keep our right to free speech, to freedom of expression, to freedom of assembly, to the right to bear arms, to the right from unreasonable searches and seizures. We want to get rid of ridiculous idiotic government organizations like the TSA and the welfare state. We want more free market. We want more prosperity, and we want nationalism, and we want to be proud of being Americans. This is the greatest country on earth. No other country in the world has been based upon an ideology and not an ethnic group. No other country in the world has seen the kind of prosperity that America has because of freedom. And one of the most basic rights of any free individual is the right to bear weaponry. I don't care what you say. As far as I'm concerned, we should be able to have tanks. We should be able to have ballistic missiles. Anything that the military has is fair game. Under the Second Amendment. That's what it actually means. If the United States cannot wage an effective war against guerrillas in Vietnam or guerrillas in Afghanistan and Iraq, what makes it think it is going to wage an effective war against all the patriots in this country? And what makes it think that the military that is majority for small government and the rights of the Constitution is not going to side against you tyrants? The military is on the side of the American people. Minus maybe a few scumbags here and there. 
but on the majority of the military, I seriously doubt it's ever gonna side with you New World Order garbage. You want them, come and take them.